Hello lovely YouTubers, um, making the second video of this um, painting the tub on this Triton build project, um, Mitsubishi Triton MQ uh, in Australia. Um, uh, what I've done so far is I sanded the, um, sanded all the internals. Uh, so there's a fair bit of dust there. Um, just did it today and um, the sanded everything inside the door all the outsides all been sanded um, gee what's there oh that's when i took the um, lid off um so we're putting a two 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 pack epoxy on this um so it'll build up any scratch marks um so yeah Sanded all the way up to there, everything underneath the boot lid um, and on that side too. So to do in that, I think the first video shows I used these tools um, with 403 training grit. Um, where's my 320? Yeah, 403 20 on the outside. But on the inside, I use 180 um, with this super cheap for hand sand, and it worked quite well uh, getting into the corners like that. See that? I don't want to do it, I haven't got the mask. Um, and it, it was quite easy to do the uh, these grooves like that too. Um, so mainly use that on the inside with 120, 180. So I just got these sanding pads. What I did was it attach it there, and then use the scissors to cut the circles to, to the right size like that, and sand it there. And just doing the. Just doing the boot lid. Um, so these boot lids were quite badly uh, faded and peeling. Um, so there's a fair bit of work involved to get this all these peeling marks off. Um, I tried to use 180 on these ones, but it was just too slow. So what I did was I got a couple of 80. 80 grit I think these are like wood bit I think I used it for wood sanding wood and on my homemade um, tool pro with the Makita battery um, rotary um, buffing tool with a little extension there and that worked quite well doing this I had the vacuum cleaner running running like this on one hand just to stop any dust just like that because it's quite quite a quite a harsh smell I think it's because of the um, fiberglass um, so it captured most of the dust um, so that's thought I'll do a bit of update on that you need to sand this is the challenging part sanding all that and um, getting it prepped so once I do with the 80 what I'll do is I'll go with um one three twenty and then just give it a 
take all those major scratch marks off. Um, or even 120, I reckon. I'll, I'll use a 120 too, so it'll grab the uh, epoxy quite well. So that's where I'm at. Um, so I'm planning to finish this and get it all cleaned up. So vacuum, I'll vacuum everything. Vacuum the floor, dust, put the fans on, dust everything out. And then um, give it a clean with the um, wax and grease remover. So I have used this with my um with the cleaning i have i think i've done a few videos for how i've done the prepping for cleaning so if that's a body so before i put a paint i've done three three st stages of cleaning well done a windex which is your blue color window I've got one of these ones from Brunnings, um, glass cleaner. Just diluted it according to the spec. And then I did the grease and wax remover. And then I did a, a denatured alcohol, is it? It's called ethanol, so denatured alcohol. Twenty-five percent. So, but I didn't. I, I didn't use the tack rag these ones because I reckon sometimes it it creates a bit of a the oil maybe gets into the. Um, so a few times I had a few issues. So I just blew everything. Once I got the alcohol, I just used the spray gun, the um, air gun, and just blew everything off and just use a normal rag like that to give it a final wipe a clean one uh, microfiber and then put the paint so it's almost like four steps isn't it so one two three four is just a microfiber wipe and air so it's almost like or stage clean um, worked quite well with the car so I think as everyone most of the video show on YouTube it just everyone puts a lot of emphasis on getting the um, bodies clean before you put the paint which is what needs to be done to um, take all the contaminants off so when you paint it it just grabs onto the body well and doesn't react. That's the other thing, there's a few silicon marks all the way here. I had to use a knife and I just, there's a few more there too and cut it. Um, so the paint grabs onto them. I've done a bit of sand, I'm not painting here because that's going to be covered. No, I'll do a paint there too. Because from the back window it'll show up, so. I'll put epoxy and paint that. I won't sand that, but I'll just give it a rough scruffing. Yep. Um, all right, thanks for watching, guys. Um, so this is part two of the painting series of the tub. Part three will be all the wiping bits, and four will be the painting, and five will be the buffing, I think. So, yeah, it'll be a five-part series. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.